Hey there everyone, today I am going to be talking about the new Dillinger Escape Plan track, Prancer. First things first, what I'll do is I'll leave a um, uh, link in the description box so you guys can go check it out and let me know what you think. But anyway, let's crack on with this. Prancer is the first single from the upcoming album from the Dillinger Escape Plan, One of Us is the Killer. Ultimately this track is an absolute contorted beast of a whole bunch of sections and ideas. To open the track are a few bursts of really sharp, ear-piercing guitar in sync with short bursts from the drums and a quick vocal cut before kicking into a very sort of dillinger breakdown, the kind of stuff you're used to. It actually reminds me a ton of Sunshine the Werewolf, but regardless it doesn't take very long at all to go full math mode and just blast your ears with those really awesome blast beat backed chaotic sections that Dillinger are pretty famous for at this point. I will say I feel like this track is a lot more chaotic than pretty much anything from the previous two records. There's kind of more sections crammed into the four minute track than you would get in most of the songs of the last two albums. But they make sure to settle in some definite grooves that remind me of Option Paralysis. And I feel like it's kind of a mixed bag of Calculating Infinity era Dillinger and also Option Paralysis era Dillinger. Like I said, the sheer amount of stuff they cram into this song is rather impressive. There is really kind of goofy backing vocals during one of the more sort of melodic, pacier sections. I'd almost describe it as a almost hardcore punky type section. Billy Weimer, the drummer, just absolutely destroys the blastier sections with these quick bursts on the ride simple, like perfectly played accents. And just generally switching between blast beats and these kind of heavier, slower moments with like pinpoint accuracy. It's unreal. This kid is pretty incredible for his age and has done amazing things all over this track. Another section that really stood out to me is this like quieter moment with a tapped guitar, it's more the bridge really. Greg's clean vocals coming, are coming over the top of it as well. I will say however, to a certain degree, songwriting and structure kind of went out of the window a little bit here. I found this song, especially the first half, to be kind of disjointed and all over the place. It feels like all the sections on their own would sound great, but put together they just don't quite work in co coordination with each other. Plus, I feel like it doesn't build into the first riff at all, it just kind of kicks in and it loses a lot of impact because it's just sort of there as opposed to actually built into it. Having said that, I really like this track. Um, it's very cold and calculated like Dillinger normally are, without losing that sort of punk looseness they've always had. Also, on the whole, this song just gets my blood pumping and generally makes me want to move. Then again, having said that, I know Dillinger can do better than this. I do not feel like they have evolved a great deal on this track. It sounds like the Dillinger I already know and love and you should hopefully already know and love, because they're awesome. And for sure, they sort of smashed different eras of their kind of career together. But ultimately, it's nothing really new as such. There's no new ideas or anything like that present here. I feel like anyone who prefers the earlier era will enjoy this, and there's also enough groove and melody for newer fans too. So I do feel like perhaps this can kind of bring the two together, because I know generally there's kind of a separation in that. A lot of people prefer Calculating Infinity and the EP with Mike Patton, and other people sort of prefer the rest of it, I suppose. Ioworks kind of fits into both, to be fair. But anyway, overall, I enjoyed this track. I am, however, hoping the album is better than this, to be honest. 6.5 to a 7. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this track. Go away, listen to it, let me know what you thought of it. Buy it if you have money, because Dillinger just deserve it. They really do. They work so hard. And I'll catch you guys and gals later.